Greetings and salutations, I am Castellan of Ingmar, also known as Tyrion of Linden, over on the Total War Center, and welcome to a brand new video. Um, this video is, I have no idea, um, it is sort of a informative video about, ow, my arms, uh, the current state of my modding garbage. Um, so there are uh, there's a bit of fuss stuff to go through and uh, I'll try and go through it as much as I can so at the moment let's just go to here um, yeah uh, not a whole lot of stuff changed to the R9 at the moment I do have plans to edit the Azra here uh, make them look more naval I think that's the best way to describe it. Um, our Ferrazon's Faithful will no longer look l exactly like the Nero Nero uh, Royal Guard with just a longer spear and almost like a buckler. They will actually have a, well, gold armor, as they're per to their name, and will have a more unique shield. That's the plan and perhaps an, a unique helmet as well. Um, uh, the Abru Narzim, Abru Zar Agar, um, will no longer be a two-handed sword infantry. Um, I plan to make them into a halberdier. Uh, they will, the halberds will take their place and that space will then become uh, pikes and where the halberds are they will become pikes with a shield a bit more like uh, Macedonian phalanx the Ardenheim armsmen will become two-handed uh, Zweihander units and of course we'll have the my unholy children which will have some more axe variations and a small shield on their arm, almost like a targe. It won't really be accounted for, um, it's just there for looks. Um, those are planned changes, they're not in yet. Um, I just need to go into them so I could actually remember what um, things are. Um, but the Ardenayim and the Gundamad reskin, reforge, whatever the hell I'm going to call it, whatever the hell I call those two, um, they're no longer going to be separate mods, they're going to be one mod with some other things being thrown in. Uh, and that's so I don't have to uh, update different mods and have to remember which ones are I've done and which ones I haven't. It'll be easier for me to update um, with the future versions of Divine and Conquer. Um, so current factions that are planned and are and factions that are currently being worked on. Um, so the factions that are planned to be worked on after Ardenayim and Gundabad are well completely done. Um, Isengard, Dunland, a little bit of Dale, Rohan, and Harad. Those are factions that I plan to do after Gundabad and the Ardenayim. A lot of Isengard's roster has already been done with my White Hand reskin, but I'm no longer satisfied with those models and kind of want to uh, update them, make them look a lot better. Uh, not only in the models, but in the textures as well. Um, I think there can be some improvement, and I also want to, you know, m do some of the stuff that I hadn't done for that mod when I first released it. Um, Dunlins, I only have one thing made for them, and it was for their bodyguard, because the bodyguard that they had, or currently have at the moment, don't look like you would have them protect your most important person. They look like just a bunch of mercenaries that someone said, here's your armor and you can fight now. 
Um, they they're a little more professional looking. If I can, I think they're here. Yeah, the chieftains bodyguard now have a more Scandinavian look, um, and I will be changing them to no longer be chieftains bodyguard, but the Ulfhethnar as uh, per uh, pertaining to their um, wolf uh, pelt. They will be referred to as the Ulf Hethnar. Um, and Dunlin will have a very Scandinavian Germanic look. Um, from the I'm choosing from the Vandal periods and the early to mid uh, Viking period. Um, that's that's uh, where I plan to get most of their visual appearance from. Gundabad um, currently has four units reskinned. Well, f one of them is fully done. Um, three of them, being the Black Shields, have their upgraded mostly done. It's going to I'm probably going to add some sleeves so it doesn't, so they don't just have bare skin for their biceps. They'll actually have um, some mail or a type of buff coat uh, beneath the plates. Um, I'm currently working on the mountain guard, which is their bodyguard. Um, it'll be used, combining some of the assets from the uh, mainline upgraded versions and some of the parts from the Bulg's Champions which I'll probably rename into something else. Um, units that are currently being worked on as along with the bodyguard are the half trolls which are going to be changed into a berserker unit, a berserker unit. Uh, they will have um, that look from the film um, that the first Gundabad troops that make it to the Raven, to Raven Hill, uh, they'll have that appearance. Most, pretty much, yeah, they'll have that appearance. The Pale Uruks are also currently being worked on. I have them mostly finished. I have to refine some of their rigging and make a few more parts, uh, a new arm. Uh, well, new forearm because I want them to have an armored forearm. Um, finish up their variants for the main body because I want some of them to have a sword arm <laughs> and others to have railer arms and with a shield. Um, that's mostly it for the pale Uruks. I'm also currently working on their textures, so um, that should be done at some point. But I'm gonna do. Th I'm gonna pull out some of the um, gonna bad boys, so you guys can actually get a look. See of that. Those are English of what is currently done. Um, and I would like to hear um, before I do anything else, when before I work finish, um, or I, when I finish Gundamad and the Arden I am in, when I start working on some other factions. Um, how would you guys uh, feel if I started remaking the Moria Snaga and Goblin models. Would that would that interest anyone? Would, is there even any demand for uh, changing those uh, models? So here we have some of them. We're gonna bring these guys together. Doot, 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 doot. Come on, there we go. Let's 
So here we have uh, what is currently done. I made their bows um, yesterday along with the arrows and quivers. It's actually a full arrow. So uh, yeah. this is what their upgraded version will look like. Just I'll add some sleeves and I should add a transparency alpha so those uh, areas for the male um, area will um, have those shards of steel. I need to fix that a little bit. Um, I'll be sort of using their current downgraded model, but I'll be changing out their helmets, their heads, and redoing some of their uh, rigging because there's a lot of um, messed up like those areas it's opening up the model so I had to fix that um, but they have a very um, close the, this model is very close to what is shown for the lesser are uh, the Gunamad slash Duldur orcs uh, from the films, um, the more downgraded, less armored versions. Here we have the spearmen, which I'm hesitant to make halberds, but I also kind of want to. Um, I'd rather ask you guys if I should make that change. And I'm pretty sure there's a way to combine the halberd uh, animation with the spear one. Um, because I am aware that you can combine the spear and uh, sh sword and shield animations in that too. So if I can pull that off, I might do that. Um, but who knows? This is what the other side by side. I do plan on changing the uh, banner carriers to be using uh, the upgraded model with some different helmets and with a more um, interesting banner um, not this type of banner which we almost everyone uses um, I wanna get away from that and make something different and maybe have them with a special like banner trophy rack on their back for the banner carriers um, And as you can tell, not all of them have a trophy rack on their backs. Um, I didn't want them to all have essentially, you know, a trophy. I, I want them all to be a little more unique. It makes them a lot more visually interesting. Here are the Bulgs champions, who I might just rename to Gunabad Guard. Um, Still need to find a good way to have the pauldrons rigged, but I'm pretty satisfied with the actual model. I need to cut up some of their the back of their arms that are never going to show, um, so we don't have any clipping there. That's currently their model, and I might give them uh, unique officers and banner carrier make them more uh, unique along with the pale Uruks they'll, they'll have something unique um, I, I seriously don't and the re if you guys are ever wondering why I ever do these reskins or reforges whatever the hell I call them um, I'm kind of sick of the constant reuse of these textures because after a while it's all pretty much the same stuff thrown in and I don't know having these uh, I, I am a little biased towards these textures and models because I made them but it adds some new stuff it's a lot it's a little more refreshing to see uh, higher quality models in the game and I'm certainly aware that not everyone is a fan of hummingbirds work um, I'm 
I've grown to not praise him as much as I used to. So, um, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed some of this garbage, and I guess we'll have the AI have its fun start battle. We'll have the AI do whatever it wants with it. I'm not particularly um, um, interested in fighting it. I'm sure the AI can handle itself. That is actually a complete lie. I have no faith in the AI to do anything right with these units. Um, I am I am actually pretty proud of these mo models. I I did have some issues the other day with uh, the standard upgrade. Um, for some reason, it decided to stop working properly. Um, they would end up just T posing, and models weren't, you know, having all their actual assets on. It would just be a spattering of things. For some reason, it thought that everything was set to a 1 which if you don't know what that means it means that it is there's a chance of it appearing and there's also a chance of it not appearing uh, usually you put it as 0 which usually means um, they will always have this particular thing but never always the same one but it would always have something in that assets place. So if I like helmets, you have um, name, whatever th the general name of what that placement is, um, the actual individual assets name. So it could be helmet, helmet 01, and then zero. So zero means there will always be a helmet. And the individual name means that it will not always be that same helmet. If you put a one, it means there will it will not always be that same helmet, but there, there's a chance that there will never be a helmet. And for some reason, when I ported the spearman in, it was not appearing. It those two values switched, and. I had to dig up this old model somewhere um, and use that as a base and redo the spearmen and I hadn't done the archers yet so I wasn't all that bothered and man are they chewing up those Gondor militia um, it's such a starking difference for me it's very I, at this point, I have a very trained eye for okay models. I think the helmets are better than most of the um, actual models it's, and all its assets itself. I spent a lot of time on the textures. I wanted it to look more like real you know, metal instead of whatever the hell some of these guys have. So yeah. Um, Hope you guys enjoy this little update thing um, and information vomiting. Um, and if you guys are wondering, yes, I, these mo these uh, models are for are currently being used as well in uh, the Silmarillion Total War um, as the Bulldogs. I have dras drafted up some bulldog ideas um, that I might make, um, but I'm not sure about how much time I will have to actually make them because I, I, I'm a little ambitious with the concept art that I did make, um, which I might put up at the end. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever the hell that will be.